Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, so, change of plans, we're doing a stream now. Now see, the reason being that... Hang on, it's just so sorry, so it's new terrors in a different scenario. Experience the ending from another perspective, the if mode. We're here to do if mode, the final, final story to Mad Father, so... Don't know how long it's gonna be, but now, now the reason why I'm streaming when I wasn't planning to is because I've got like two hours to kill uh, compared to the time I thought I had. So I figured, okay, let's just try to make more progress so we can start a uh, death and request. And I'm saying this right now, and I'm gonna say it again when we start death and request. If you are underage, if you are scared easily, if you don't like disturbing content, if you. Uh, got problems with the health or anything like that you are n like just don't watch my video man of death and my videos of death and request please because i don't need people coming after me being like oh man you 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 are uh, you did this because you played this it's like no i told you get get out man because it's it's a pretty pretty messed up game but it's a good game kind of like mad father anyway let's just jump into the if mode right i'm here wasn't planning on it. Now let's just get it over with. If mode. Mistress. Mistress. Mistress, please come too. Is she alright? She seems to have fainted from shock. Mistress. How's Aya? She's sleeping soundly. Just leave her be for a while. Right. Er, will you be alright? Don't worry about me. I mean, I'm already dead. Are you truly a dead person? Huh? I'm sorry, you just seem different from the other corpses somehow. I still sense life in your eyes, so it's hard to think of you as dead. Well, it feels pretty unbelievable to me too that I'm up and about right now. I'm sorry about before. I mistook you for an attacker, so I impulsively threw a knife. Don't worry about it. I probably would have done the same thing. Thank you for saying so. Maria. Mistress. Let's always be together. Mistress. Is she awake? No. I think she was talking in her sleep. What are we going to do now, I wonder? Not to mention you. We corpses are only being kept alive by the power of the curse. Once it's completely gone, I'm sure I'll vanish. I see. Even when you've helped us so, even when you've helped us so, I can't do anything for you. I'm truly sorry. Don't sweat it. This was always my fate, and no one can defy fate. Where would you be going? Feels weird sticking around in a girl's room. Can I borrow one of the other ones? I don't mind. Use any room that's available. Thank you. You have to live and protect Aya. That's your fate. That was Monica's wish too, which is why you were left here, I bet. You need not worry. I've already decided that I must live to support the mistress. the mansion. I guess I'll look around the other rooms. Okay. Thank you for saving her. There's just one last thing. Say goodbye to her in my place. I have no right to face her anymore. Please. Wait! Why did she save me? If it was for the sake of helping Aya, surely it didn't have to be me. I shouldn't bother thinking about it. Whatever her feelings were, she saved me. There's no changing that fact. 
Thank you. Dolls in a glass case. Check in the side rooms. I'm gonna get jumped by that thing again. Oh, hey! It's the old man. The youngster, eh? You first came here as a servant, too, I'll bet. Same for me, but I wasn't like the others. I just realized his head's indented. I was taken in to be a servant, not as raw materials. That was back when the woman was alive. As I worked here, I came to learn the true nature of this family. I fled in terror fast as I could, but I couldn't make it away. Thought I was cl pretty clever about it too, but that woman saw right through me. She's scary sharp, she is. A woman who can read hearts can brainwash people no problem. Yeah, she well and truly tricks you. Do you mean to imply Monica brainwashed that scientist? Whatever kind of person she is, her feelings about her daughter are real. She's a fine mother. Huh. <laughs> well, what do I care? You can think what you like. I was taken into this mansion as a human being. Maybe if I hadn't tried running, they would have killed me after they wouldn't have killed me after all. See you, old man. Oh, hey, old guy. Hey, bruh. Sipping some tea. What are you up to here? Ah, my, my. How good to see you're safe. Has that knife wound healed up already? You appear to have recovered quite well. Thanks to that medicine of yours. Let's see here, sorry. Good, good. Who in the world are you? You're not from this mansion, and you don't seem dead to me. I'm just a passing salesman. I've witnessed some amusing sights indeed tonight. Love is truly a magnificent thing, isn't it? For love, people will become crazed, fighting and hurting each other. How foolish and how pleasing. You're enjoying all this? And if I said I was? The hell is your goal? I have no goal, so to speak. Oh, God. I just enjoy observing deranged humans. You're not human, are you? <laughs> but as of late, I've gotten a bit bored with mere observation. I decided to find some new amusement. Indeed, perhaps I, like he, would take part in a puppet show. Oh, shut up! Now you know. I like virtuous humans like yourself as well. It wouldn't be entertaining if this world were full of nothing but lunatics. It is the presence of good people that allows lunatics to shine. Such is why I didn't let you die. So if you would please stand against the madmen with your justice. When the time comes for it, I'll be watching closely. Messed up. I'm sorry, Snowball. You've always been at my side, but I keep th kept thinking I'd be all alone. Will you forgive me? Oh, Snowball too is a dear member of the family. Ah, good. You woke up. Okay. I'm terribly sorry. The mistress seems a bit shy. We've decided to leave the mansion. Right. That sounds good. 
We're going to leave all our past behind in this mansion. The mistress and I will start on a new life now. Yeah, a being deranged psychopaths that do the same thing your dad did. And you you know, from what we found out in Blood Mode, your mom. And he's just... Y'all are terrible people. Y'all are bad, bad people. Is something the matter? You don't look pleased. Be careful of that red-eyed man in the black coat. What do you mean? It may even endanger the mistress? Very probable. I'll bear it in mind. Well, this is goodbye. Goodbye, Aya. May you be smiled upon. Now go. Goodbye. to a lonely life again. My time here was my salvation, even given what happened there. Still, she saved me. Those few days were irreplaceable. Her hands may have been cold, but her heart was so warm. i never forget the people I met here. Aren't you going with them? A doll? Guess the curse hasn't worn off completely. Hey, don't you want to go with Aya? Won't you be lonely? I can't be with the two of them. If they learned I was alive, I feel like they'd make me pay. They're trying to move forward, so I can't be dragging them down. So I'll be living on a different path from them. Oh, okay. Suit yourself, I guess. That I will. Hey, do you believe in the threads of fate? If you and Aya and Maria are bound by one of those, then you might meet, a get meet somewhere again. So long as we live in the same world, I can't deny that could happen. You meet again. What do you do if I has taken the same path as her father? What do you mean? What else would I mean? Don't they have that saying, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree? That's impossible. She knows the subject's pain better than anyone. I think she would take the same path as him. I mean, I said if. Well, what do you do? If that happened, then I would stop her. Could you stop her? I would try to, no doubt. Hmm, well good luck. Oh, I'm getting kind of sleepy. I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night. No! That can't be it! Impossible! I was told this was a whole another story! <laughs> wow! Okay! Oh no! <laughs> Yo, we didn't even go 15 minutes. Ah, oh, I have like two hours to kill. No way. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, what's up, bruh? We just finished the whole fucking if storyline. I, I, I was told it was a whole storyline. That didn't even take 15 minutes, and that's counting my intro. That was like 12 minutes. <laughs> well, chat, this has been Mad Father. All three of the storylines. Yeah.
Oh, dude, I freaking love regular show. That regular show is one of my childhoods, and I need to re-binge it soon. But, Chad, this has been Mad Father. We're gonna do Death and Request next, but we're not gonna start it today. I... I don't know if I'm gonna stream Ocarina of Time or Scarlet Nexus. Maybe some Ocarina of Time, because I don't want to start a new game when I have a little bit of time. But I also don't know how long the Water Temple will take. That didn't take long at all! Wow, YouTube audience, I am so sorry. You guys are gonna go in on a binge, probably, and be like, Oh man, what the heck was this? <laughs> uh... Well, chat. Thanks for joining me for this spoopy little RPG Maker horror adventure. Uh, this was a great game. I, I'm gonna go see what's going on with my plans and see if, I, if, if it's still like an hour and 45 minutes to a two hour wait. If it is, we're gonna do some Ocarina of Time to try to knock out some of that. But uh, if I'm able to push it forward, I'll just leave. Everyone, thanks for watching! This was Bad Father. Y'all have a great day. Bye bye. Regular show was awesome.